Dr. Steve Weiner, and on either side of me are the genius RF microneedling devices, which I conclude are the best RF microneedling devices on the market. I started doing RF microneedling back when Infini was introduced to the U.S., which was in the summer of 2013. And since then, I've done thousands of treatments. Two years ago, I wrote a chapter on RF microneedling in a facial plastic surgery clinics of North America. It was on new trends and technologies in facial plastic surgery. And here is the chapter. It contains 58 references and it's the most exhaustive review of RF microneedling technology that has been written. This is a paper I co-authored with Dr. Chila Curry and others about treating axillary hyperhidrosis with RF microneedling. The genius is excellent for this and it will give long lasting results after two or three treatments. I also have experience treating facial hyperhidrosis using RF microneedling as well. So the predecessor to the genius was the Infinite which came out in 2013, and around two to three years ago, Genius came out, and I helped do the FDA trials on that. And why do I think the Genius is the best RF microneedling on the market? Well, it's several things. One is, it has very sharp needles, which they actually spent $3 million to create a machine that made these needles. It also has a very powerful motor, so the needles actually penetrate to the skin to the depth that you want them to. Most importantly is impedance feedback. What that means is that every five milliseconds, there's a sensor in the tips that senses the resistance in the tissue and adjusts the energy flow so it delivers exactly the energy that you plug into the system. So what we're looking at is the interface for the Genius. Up here, we have the depth. And you notice that the depth can be changed into 0.1 millimeter increments. There are other devices that can only be changed in one millimeter increments. We can also adjust the millijoules per pin. And then you also see over here the total treatment input. So what you do is when you deliver a pulse, you can see the total energy delivered into that patient. And it actually equals exactly what you plug in because of this impedance feedback. Because if you don't have that, the energy always isn't delivered because there's increased resistance in the tissue and the energy has to be adjusted to that resistance in the tissue. Keep in mind that the resistance in the tissue is not the same in this area, in this area, in this area. And it also varies from patient to patient. If you don't have that impedance feedback, then the energy delivered is highly variable. It's not exactly what you plug in. Keep in mind also that as you go for two or three different passes, that impedance is going to change on that same patient. So you have to have impedance feedback to get exactly the amount of energy that you want delivered to that patient. So this is an example of energy input equals energy delivered. Notice that it's 26 millijoules per pin and you multiply that by 49 pins equals 1.3 joules. And that's exactly what you are getting. So you might ask me, why do I have two machines? It is because Genius is the most popular treatment in our office and we actually sometimes have to have patients wait because the Genius is being used by another provider. Now we have two, now we can do two simultaneously. So what can we do with the Genius? Well, you can tighten the jowls, the jawline, and the submental area. So the skin is tightened as well as you decrease a little bit of the fat tissue if you go very deeply. Another thing that you can do is you can treat on the body as well as the neck and the chest. So those are some of our most popular treatments. Sometimes I'll add hyperdilute radius in combination to get even better results. But one thing that the Genius is actually one of the best devices for is acne scarring, particularly in dark skin individuals. The reason why it is is because dark skin individuals are susceptible to PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. When you use the Genius or other RF microneedling devices which are insulated, the chances of PIH are significantly decreased. And a lot of my acne scar patients are patients of color, meaning types four, five, or six. And so they could have lasers, but they have a very high risk of having PIH afterwards. With the RF microneedling devices, particularly the Genius, that, that incidence goes way down. Some of my patients will actually fly in and fly out the same day because there's so little downtime. The wound care is minimal with RF microneedling devices. If you compare it to lasers, lasers 
which are ablative lasers, you have to put on all these heavy creams. There's crusting, there's peeling, and there's bleeding. With our microneedling, there's minimal wound care. In fact, you can go out to dinner that same day in some cases. RF microneedling is something that everyone should consider to put in their practice because it has such great results. It tightens the skin, minimal downtime, minimal wound care, and extremely safe, particularly for dark skin individuals. Thank you. So I'm gonna show you the versatility of using the Genius Body Tip. Here we're doing it on the abdomen, and next we're doing it on the inner knee aspect as well as the medial aspect of the arm. We also treat a lot of acne scar patients here, particularly of color. And then we also treat the submental area, the jawline, and the jowl area. This is an ultra high frequency ultrasound image of a patient who was treated at 1.7 millimeters deep with uh, Genius. And you note the areas of coagulation are exactly 1.7 millimeters deep. And you also note that the HA filler is safe below these zones.